What's up guys, this is Vaughn from Simply Hawkward Games and today I wanted to, uh, I'm actually going to do a review on Doctor Strange, uh, but before I get into that I actually am going to talk about some news that came up. I guess it's not necessarily news, um, but it is some stuff that has technically come out. Uh, basically we've got Mass Effect, um, they had the Mass Effect Andromeda trailer not too long ago. It was really good. It was in seven days, so I guess it was literally yesterday I did a video on that, too. Um, but basically, Game Informer, I guess, has kind of leaked some interesting stuff about Mass Effect, like that there's no longer going to be any classes, and uh, that the cover isn't going to be stuck anymore. It's going to be dynamic covers, so it'll move with you. I definitely think that'll be cool. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to feel about it. Just being a Mass Effect fan and already kind of being in that world for so long I'm not super sure how I'm gonna feel about it um, plus the fact that they're removing classes I think is really cool because it's kind of heading um, it's kind of heading I was gonna say it's kind of heading in the direction of Dragon Age Inquisition but it doesn't seem like it really is other than with large open scale world and the graphics probably so of the combat revelations and everything like that too but I honestly doubt it's going to take much other than that, um, except for maybe some storytelling, which I guess near the end, Dragon Age Inquisition storytelling kind of falls short, so I definitely hope it doesn't in Mass Effect Andromeda. But there's some really cool stuff to be said there. Um, they gave us, I guess, a quick snippet of what technically is happening with uh, the story. I guess the Hyperion, which is the arc that... Uh, your Pathfinder is on actually gets separated from the rest of the arcs. I definitely think that kind of makes sense because I think the whole part about it is them separating to go find different planets. Like, that's the whole reason they're a Pathfinder is to find a path to, you know, a, a completely hospitable planet. I'm not necessarily sure why everyone's like so surprised about this. But other than that, we've got Pokemon Go. I guess some data miners found out that Gen 2 stuff is going to be in there. Like that's news. Um, a lot of people have talked about it. It's really not news. It's like, oh, data miners found out that they possibly could put in Gen 2 Pokemon. No fucking way. Never knew that they would do that. Never knew that they would put more Pokemon in a Pokemon game because... When has the Pokemon company ever done that? And I guess Ditto is technically in it too, but I mean, let's be real. Ditto's going to be there eventually. All Pokemon are going to be there eventually. They're just going to hold them over your heads and keep you going back for more. That's really what's going to happen. Um, after that, we've got Infinite Warfare. I guess uh, if you went on the Microsoft Store and purchased it for your PC, you basically couldn't play with anybody. You were like by yourself. I guess there was two to three people that actually found each other and hosting like local games and stuff like that. But a bunch of weird stuff is going on with that. But I guess Windows is actually offering refunds. And I guess um, Microsoft and Microsoft has come out and said that the whole reason that they had the PC and like all this has happened is because it was Activision's fault. So I guess it's kind of cool that it's on Activision, not Microsoft. I mean, it's not like it's really their fault. Other than that, um, I guess kind of from what I understand, there might be kind of a hostile takeover of CD Projekt Red. If you guys don't know who they are, um, they've got like the Witcher, the whole Witcher series is theirs. Um, they have some new games coming out and stuff like that. But there's kind of, I guess, a hostile takeover. There's like a meeting of their shareholders soon. I doubt anything's really going to come of it because, I don't know, CD makes so much money it's just ridiculous to think so. But you never know. People are pretty crazy. And now that I got all that out of the way, I'm going to go into my Doctor Strange review. I actually just saw it earlier today. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, it definitely made me, th I don't know, it definitely made me think about what's going on in the MCU. And a lot of people are wondering what time it's based in. I definitely think uh, the beginning of it is basically like pre-accident is around Civil War time and then it seems like it's definitely around Civil War time, uh, especially because of like a little snippet that kind of seems like James Rhodes uh, from Civil War and his injuries and stuff like that. But I guess it's been like declined like that. The basically the director said that it's not talking about him. You guys will know if you hear it. Um, it's in the scene where he's in his car and he's talking about like a bunch of incoming patients. But I mean, how many people fly around and like freaking 
experimental mech suits. Not many. I would definitely say there's probably like three people. And I don't even know who the third would be unless it's the Iron Spider. So, yeah. Um, but basically, other than that, it's a really good movie. The story kind of... I wouldn't say it falls flat because it is just like an origin story. Um, it's a lot of fun to pl- like watch... I guess uh, it's got a lot of interesting stuff that goes on that makes it seem like a blend between the Marvel Cinematic Universe, uh, Inception, and I would say kind of like an Alice in Wonderland kind of acid trip scenario. Um, It definitely gets weird. It's like kind of mind bending. Uh, The visuals are just fantastic. If you guys are really into the way basically a movie looks, this is definitely one I would recommend going to watch because it looks amazing. I wouldn't say it's a nonstop thrill ride kind of amazing, but but it definitely has uh, it has its slow moments but a lot of like subtle humor and everything like that actually makes those slow moments a lot better which is always nice because a lot of the time uh, once you get to slow moments in movies it's just ridiculous it's like endless torture but the action is actually really awesome the comedy is really nice the story I wouldn't say it's terrible I mean it's there it's basically like dude wants to repair himself and has to fight off kind of an invasion um i guess it's a big problem with the marvel cinematic universe i wouldn't say i guess i actually know that it is a big problem with them with villains uh their villains generally fall short first you've got like basically i can't even go through a couple of the villains the only villain that actually has been good basically would have been loki and yeah He's literally the only good one that's not just like a shell like Ronin. It's just basically boring. He's just like, I'm going to kill people. And that's his own motivation. That's literally it. It's his only motivation to do anything is to kill Xandarians and stuff like that. So it's kind of ridiculous. Um, But other than that, uh, you've got Cassilius and you've got trying to remember his name. I think it's Modo. No, it's not Modo. Definitely not Modo. Um, but going past that, I guess Cassilius is really boring. Honestly, he is in like small portion of the movie. And even when he's in the movie, he's not really a menacing kind of villain. Like I would expect, um, because the actor who plays him, Mads Mikkelsen, I think is his name. He has played like Hannibal in the Hannibal TV show. He's played a lot of different characters. They're much more menacing and he didn't really seem to bring it to, uh, Cassilius in this one. Uh, but there are some really like interesting things that happen with his character, especially during his fights with uh, Doctor Strange. I don't know why I paused right there because that's his name. Um, but there's like also some humor that pops in, especially when he sits there and talks about like the whole Strange thing and thinks his name is Doctor, which kind of is odd. I'm not a hundred percent sure why he would think that because the dude has, you know lived in this society before he knows what a doctor is he just went to the ancient one to learn like the art of mysticism kind of a thing um it's it's pretty it's just odd but altogether is a really great movie i would definitely recommend you guys go and watch it because i really enjoyed it and i mean i guess you're here for my opinion in a way um yeah Obviously, you should go see it. It's definitely not something you should have to wait until the movie comes out, like on a red box to see. Um, it doesn't really follow the whole like motif of a lot of comedy mixed in with some action and stuff like that, like Guardians of the Galaxy and Ant-Man did, which is my favorite of the MCU films. I really wish there was a little bit more comedy in there, but I did enjoy it. I enjoyed it than most of the other MCU films. I think... Uh, It definitely is up there with my favorites. It's probably third. uh, First being Guardians of the Galaxy, second being Ant-Man, and this being third. I do enjoy the Avengers and the other ones, uh, but, I mean, they're just not my... I can't say they're not my cup of tea because they're really good, but I definitely just think that those three are better. Um, Other than that, you got an end credit scene that seemed to somewhat ruin... um, I can't say ruin, but really take away from what uh, Thor Ragnarok is going to be. Um, it's just spoiler coming up, so I'll give you a second to get away. Yeah, so uh, basically the end credit scene is Doctor Strange sitting there with 
Thor, which is actually a really like funny end credit scene where he doesn't drink tea and then he wants a beer. It's like gone in 10 seconds and then it's refilled. It's really interesting to watch Thor's face. But basically, uh, with the ending of Thor The Dark World, if I remember correctly, Loki is thought to be dead but is actually impersonating, um, is actually impersonating Odin. But in this, like Thor is talking to Doctor Strange and talking about how he's on Earth with his brother Loki, which means he knows that Loki's alive and he's not Odin because they're looking for Odin. Plus, with all the like weird stuff you've seen with the actor who plays Odin has uh, just been walking around with like weird homeless makeup, seemingly like for the shoots that they're doing altogether just kind of seems like it ruins Thor Ragnarok or at least ruins uh, some of the like not so well-known parts of it um but that's would be the end of my review I hope you guys enjoyed it uh, make sure you guys look, click the like button it helps me out a bunch make you sure you subscribe for all my upcoming content I do post every Monday Wednesday and Friday I will be doing stuff with my friends so just make sure you guys stay tuned for that and that's about it for me today oh also make sure you leave a comment down below letting me know how I'm doing and if you guys enjoyed Doctor Strange all right I hope you have a great